I'm Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike, and I'm here in North Wales for a Rally Moto road navigation event. Rally Moto are one of the big guys in the UK when it comes to rally navigation events. So this is navigation as they use in the Dakar Rally. But this event is designed to get people that don't necessarily want to get muddy into using their brain for the navigation. We are going to be following a 425 kilometer road book on our road bikes, although technically, you know, that is a bit of a beast off road. I know that because we are following the road book in front of me. Now the Rally Moto team designed the whole road book for both off and on road events. They have an app that's available on Android and it is a full digital road book. So this is traditionally a paper scroll that you scroll through on your handlebar and yes that is what they use for the Dakar Rally. It's using the GPS that's in the, the tablet, you could technically use your smartphone device, it's just a bit of a small screen. We've got compass bearings, we've got our odometer, so speed, kilometers, distance. We can reset our distance if we go wrong, get a little bit lost. And then you've got each little line of the tulip with direction. So right here, we're sat at a junction and we've just turned left. And uh, we thought we'd take a moment and look at that view because we're going for some stunning scenery. We are 64k down, so we haven't actually done that much in the scheme of the whole day, but we started so early this morning there was nowhere to get breakfast. We have just sniffed out because we rode past it and went, what is that smell? A bakery. So we're parked up and we're gonna get some breakfast. What is my bike? Not really a road bike. Not <laughs> really a road bike, no. no. We've got two happy ladies right now because we've got breakfast, hot drinks. Uh, we've got a long day ahead of us. Now, we're kind of wrecking the route in some forms um so gabrielle sort of works with the rally moto team and this is kind of a behind the scenes sneak peek at the route so i feel very lucky uh, there are two people who have done this route previously and they did it in 12 hours so girl power is determined that we're going to get less than 12 hours we probably need to eat this very quickly stop talking to you and focus on following the road book in order to beat them so yeah time to eat We are at the bottom of Slowdonia somewhere and it's absolutely breathtaking. So I had to stop and show you what is next to me right now. And we're exploring it on motorbikes. Best way possible, right? Quickly 
quickly explain how Roadbook works. There's loads of tutorials online if you want to go really into depth into the system. Each one of those is a line of information that you read one by one. So we can see at the top, we've got our distance. So this is in kilometers. We've got our cap heading. There you go. So we've got 90 degrees at the moment. We can see our speed. We see we're stationary and we can see the time. We then on each tulip have a few numbers going on. So we've got the mileage point or kilometer. Sorry, we've got the kilometer point. So that's the distance at which this tulip is relevant. So at 160.88 K, the directions we've got is a little picture that we're going to then de 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 decipher what is going on. So for this one, we're going to hang her straight on and we're not going to go left uh, through the gateway. We've then got a cap heading that we're going to be bearing onto and you also then have the distance between the two tulips. It gives you a bit of an idea of how long you've got between each line and you're going to look at that complete that task and then scroll on. Now, when you're on a bigger, more um, established rally bike, you tend to have controls for your thumb to do the scrolling. But because this is designed to get people to start doing roadbook navigation, um, you are just using your finger as you're scrolling along. Now, if you don't have gloves that are touch screen capable, you can get these little gaming mitts. They're super cheap online. It's just a little thing that you can see I've stuck over the end of my glove and that enables my my glove to be ooh, a finger when I'm riding along. The lighter code right here is a great example. 160.36 kilometers. So you can see I'm only six off. Uh, I've got to go over a bridge, over a river and boom, you can see it is right there. You know, I'll go over that, move on, tackle the next task. halfway point we've been going about five hours so far so pretty tough with that progress uh, halfway through the day tracks us to a 10 hour day stop for some lunch and also this is the point where we need to swap out the road book from part one to part two now the reason why it is split in two despite being digital is because of the file size on a lot of the smart devices tablets don't like a mega long road book so convenient stop to fuel up get some snacks and then keep going. What I'm enjoying at the moment uh, through this day is how many of the roads we just never have found or never end ourselves up on. And some really amazing scenery, really, really just breathtaking. Every corner you're like, whoa, and we've been in the clouds and in the rain and then sunshine. Thankfully it's sunshine right now. Uh, which basically means we've got about another 100, uh, 210k left to go. We're fueled up, bodies are fueling up, and we all push on. <laughs> marathon roadbook day and it's all about focus concentration and a lot of time on the bike seeing some pretty epic countryside around wales that's this event rally motor have events all over the uk so what do you need to come and do exactly what we're doing today so basically you need a bike for this event it's a road bike an off-road bike that you can ride on the road road legal and comfortable to do quite a decent amount of miles. You then need an Android device. So I've got quite a big tablet on here. Technically, you could use a smaller Android smartphone. I do warn you though, it is gonna be quite small seeing your navigation. So if you can get hold of a tablet, it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, some friends, maybe if you're a social person, uh, if you prefer riding on your own and just getting set in on the navigation, you don't need friends. And you're gonna need at least one day to do it. So this is an event where you 
you can do it whenever you like. You've got a three month period from signing up for the event where you get given access to the digital roadbook and then you can pick and choose when you want to do the route. It does track where you are. There are waypoints you've got to hit so you can't cheat the system and pretend you've done it just in case that's what you're thinking. It knows that you've gone the right route, etc. And so at the end of it, you will get a, a little bit of a high five for having completed it effectively. So let's just say you want to do it over a weekend. You could very easily split it into two days, stay somewhere in the middle in a nice hotel and enjoy a full weekend of riding, or you can go full hardcore and do it in a day like we are. So considering we're doing it a day, I better stop talking and carry on into the sunshine. Get riding. progress not talking too much but doing lots and lots of riding because this is a really really big day um, remember that all kilometers are not made equal we all go on crazy holidays and do stuff right and i just love exploring what's in my own backyard uh, there's just some incredible places in the united kingdom day has pretty much been one epic view of scenery after another. I honestly thought I had explored Wales, but there was a lot, there is a lot, that I've not even seen and you just don't know which roads to go on and yeah, Bradley Moto, massive kind of high five for how incredible the route is that you planned for this cannibal event. Like. Damn, these roads are good. <laughs> 87k left. You can see how slow my brain was then. Sorry, quick maths. Let's keep going. I think this is going to be our final stop to check out the views like the sun's going down we are sub 30k from the end fantastic um let's process what's just happened we have done 425 kilometers on the road following road but navigation through some of the most beautiful scenes of wales that i've not discovered before i live in wales just to put that down uh, i challenge you to take on this challenge we have done it in 11 hours the previous two guys, the best record was 12 hours. Can you beat me? Challenge is on. So get over to the Rally Moto website. It is the Cannonball Rally Challenge. That's what you need to look for. You can do it whenever you like. Obviously to beat the 11 hours, you need to do it in one go in a day. I'm Vanessa Rutt, the girl on a bike. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments. Have you done Roadbook? Are you interested in Roadbook? Do you want to learn Roadbook? If you do, this is a great event to get into it. Um, I'm going to head home. Awesome adventure.